You know, we live in a shaming culture, don't we? <laughs> I just want to thank you. Um, there was no shaming in this, none. We're to love this world the way Jesus loves it and speak grace first always. So thank you, Tim. That was a precious mm -hmm. moment for me to sit through this and listen. And how many of us are struggling? <laughs> how many of us are struggling living in this world right now as Christians? Amen. So there's a, some of you are new to covenant, grace covenant. So some of you don't know this, but some of you do. Um, I give a benediction a little differently. Uh, when I studied worship in the early church, I found out that they worshiped in homes, small groups. It wasn't until 433 AD that we got big things like this going. And, and so somebody would teach. And as they would teach, at the end of the service, they'd give a benediction. Now, when I grew up, the moment the pastor's hand went up, my head went down. I, I don't know if that's the way you grew up, but that's the opposite of them. They looked right into the eyes of the one who was given the benediction because they're going to walk out into a world and they're going to declare that Jesus is Lord and Caesar is not, which meant they might not be back next week. So they held fast to the confession of their hope without wavering. So, so I'm going to give you this. It's the end of Jude. It's a, it's a doxology from Jude. And I was just thinking of Howard. Some of this is he already experiences. Howard Reiner already experiences some of this. So listen, some of it we're yet to experience, but hear these promises. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, who presents us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now till our Lord Jesus Christ comes again and forever and ever and ever and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you.